The impressive, imposing volcanic remnant called Shiprock stands as an all-natural billboard for this byway. Nearby, Farmington offers one of the nation's finest public golf courses and world-class fly fishing on the San Juan River. But while the golfing and fishing are outstanding, this byway focuses primarily on New Mexico's native heritage. And that heritage is evident at the salmon ruins near Bloomfield and the Aztec ruins near Aztec. These crumbled pueblos were once thriving native communities and offer visitors unique opportunities to explore and learn. But at the center of the byway, harder to reach and far from any major city, is the gem of New Mexico's native heritage offerings. Chaco Culture National Historic Park, commonly called Chaco Canyon, is the awe-inspiring and mystifying collection of ruins abandoned by modern-day Pueblo ancestors more than 750 years ago. The United Nations has designated Chaco as a World Heritage Site, and researchers have spent careers studying Chaco, trying to understand the mystery of the Anasazi people who lived here, building a metropolis seemingly well ahead of its time and then suddenly abandoning it. This byway also encompasses landscape seemingly abandoned by time. The Bisti and Dana Zin wilderness areas are part New Mexico, part Mars. Wind, water, and time have all shaped what is a unique landscape. This is a hiker's playground, a photographer's dream. To the south of Chaco is the city of Grants. Here, a mining museum honors the heritage that made this a hotbed for uranium mining through the middle of the 20th century. Grants is also the gateway to El Malpais National Monument, which is a stretch of ancient volcanic flow that formed terrain both unique and virtually impassable. These badlands share the area landscape with geological features including the Bandera Volcano and Ice Cave, which stays frozen year-round. When the first groups of Spanish explorers passed this way, they stopped for water at the base of El Moro, and many took the opportunity to carve their names into the face of the big rock, creating what is now another of New Mexico's many national monuments. To the west, near New Mexico's border with Arizona, you will find Zuni Pueblo. This is the largest of the state's 19 pueblos, and famous in part because it was where those Spanish explorers came looking for the fabled cities of gold. Today, it is home to many artists, including well-known potters and jewelry makers. Gallup is just north of Zuni on the byway, and Gallup might be best known as the marketplace for Native American art. Trading posts and dealer shops line the main street in Gallup, made famous by a song about getting your kicks on Route 66. Each year, Gallup is also home to the Intertribal Ceremonial, which draws participants and visitors from all around the world to celebrate native arts, music, food, Let's hear it for this cowboy. rodeo, and perhaps most notably, dance. And each fall, Gallup hosts the Red Rock Balloon Rally with scenery unmatched anywhere in the world for both balloonists and spectators. And small trading post towns north of Gallup, like Toadlena, are famous for the intricate Navajo rugs bought and sold there. There is tremendous history, beauty, and tradition woven deeply into each of these rugs, much like the history, beauty, and tradition you'll encounter as you weave your way through northwest New Mexico on the Trail of the Ancients Scenic Byway.